Hey guys, what is up? This is Harry and welcome back to my channel. So recently I discovered a set of features secretly hidden away in my Kia Sonnet. This was actually discovered and informed to me by one of my new friends a while ago. He reached out to me on Facebook and asked me to do a video of it, so here I am. I intended to make a video of it sooner, but never really got the time. So let's get started. So I'm going to keep this video as short as possible. If you also have a Kia car, be it Sonnet, Seltos, Carnival or even Currents, then just follow along to find the hidden settings I'm referring to. And do let me know in the comment section below what you find because the results may vary. So we need to go to settings, then click on general. Now this is the only area we are interested in. Even if the map is not updating for you, this method should work just the same. On the lower left side, tap on this area 5 times and then tap just once on the lower right side of this area. And immediately we enter the engineering mode. And as the name suggests, I believe this is what the service engineers access in order to make any changes in the system, perhaps? Not really sure though. Here we can see all of the different settings such as system software history, version, diagnosis and module just click here and we can see four pages of module settings that we may modify apart from that we can also see a few tests that can be performed from this screen though I will not be accessing those let's head back to module for now As you can see, there are various sorts of settings that can be changed easily, and the buttons do work. Let's click on launch VR engineering mode for now. Here I found a setting called Wi-Fi but even after enabling it, it didn't make any difference for some reason. If we scroll below, we can see an option which I enabled called welcome message enable. Enabling this gives a sort of a greeting as soon as you enter the car but it doesn't really work quite that often. Although some of the features do work like the open driver's window button as you can see. Let's close that for now. There are many different settings that can be changed under different headings on the left. You can fiddle around with these settings if you want though I would not recommend it. We can change the screen's blue light from here as well, quite a few options. I even found a widget click option, though that did not work for me. So it seems that most of these options are for testing purpose or R&D research and development and still a part of ongoing research which may change the functionality with future version updates, perhaps.
Now this was a bit interesting as well. Here I could notice a few extra lines that started showing up on the reverse camera after enabling this option called guideline tuning. However, the driver watch option is not responsive and does not even enable as you can see here. Surprisingly, there is also a cabin camera option which is quite odd since my car does not have a cabin camera. Could be possible that these settings are common on all Kia cars and are enabled model wise. So if a higher end model has a cabin camera installed then this option might show some settings within. Let me know in the comment section below if you do find any such settings. Here we can see the version number and the update history, basically everything within the system. There's even a developer option, I guess that's for Kia engineers. As well as a setting for the LCD color management, I guess. So yeah, that is it guys. I hope you found this video informative. Catch you in the next one. See ya.